Man, all the way in Maine right now. Driving. Semi truck. I haven't brought you no tractor trailer videos in a while. Parked a little bit crooked, but it's all good. You know? But I'm all the way in Maine. Let me tell you uh story. Story time. Yeah, so uh, I was driving, I'm in Maine right now. It's dumb cold. It was snowing out here. Um, everybody knows I'm from Connecticut. I'm from New England. Um, where I'm from, Connecticut, there's no snow right now. But tomorrow on Saturday, uh, January 18, there's going to be a big blizzard. There's two blizzards coming our way to New England. And um, there's a big blizzard from the Pacific North uh, Northwest. So like um, Oregon and Washington, they're getting a big, they got a big snowstorm coming this direction in Texas right now there's a snowstorm right now coming this direction as well so both storms are gonna collide and we're just gonna get swamped with, with snow so I'm trying to get out of here man like there's snow on the ground already it's dumb cold um I was in the back roads like they had me driving on the highway next thing you know the highway they told me to get off the highway and I was on the back roads and I know I'm not even supposed to be on those roads. Like, I was on the people's backyards and shit. It was crazy. Like, I was on back roads for like a good 90 miles. At least 90 miles. Close enough. But it was crazy, man. And that just speaks out to, you know, people who are getting new into trucking or want to get into trucking or, you know, rookies. I, I'm still a rookie myself. But I thank God, you know, shout out to my brother, Tony. You know, if you're watching this, you know, I know... We haven't talked in a while. Uh, I love you, and um, you know I wish you the best. And I want to say thank you for you know giving me some experience. You know, even though we didn't work too long, we worked probably what three months together. But that definitely helped me out. You know, got my you know shifting skills up. Got um, everything, man. Like it's crazy out here, bro. It's just really dangerous. You have to use your common knowledge. Like, um, common sense is hard to come by, but please use your judgment as a, you know, truck driver. Like, right now, um, I don't even have a tractor trailer GPS, so I'm using my phone. I'm using Google Apps, Google Maps, you know, and Google Maps, right off the start, wanted me to go on the Merritt Parkway, which is in Bridgeport, you know, and there's no commercial vehicles on there, you know. No, I first it wanted me to go underneath a 11 foot bridge, and then it wanted me to go on, you know, uh, the Merritt Parkway. So please use your knowledge, use your common sense, use your judgment. Um, you know, my brother taught me something really good. He said like, if even if the GPS is made for tractor trailing, and um, it tells you to turn on a street, if it looks sketchy. Just keep going, man. Just keep... And I did that a couple of times. I almost got jammed up today. You know? Uh, I was driving down uh, a street. My GPS telling me to turn right at the last second. You know? And you know how sometimes you turn on the street. And then it takes too long to recalculate. So I missed the turn off. And I'm going down a street. And then the street does like one of these like bends. Right? And then there's a sign that says like no trucks. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then the next street right here on the right, I had to take a right to get out of there because I couldn't back up. There's no way. So there's mad cars coming out and there's so many cars behind me. So I just, I, uh, I let everybody go. It took me like five minutes to get out of there. Um, just swayed this way and then took that turn. I didn't hit anything, didn't hit no curb. And then um, there was something else that happened. I almost got jammed up there. What else? Um, can't even think of it. Oh, dude, that whole backpack thing. Really, nigga? It's, it's crazy. Um, yesterday, I drove all the way upstate Connecticut. Um, I can't really think of the town, but I picked up some batteries from Interstate Battery or whatever. Um, though someone else delivered them, I just brought it back to Bridgeport. And now I had a bobtail from Bridgeport all the way to uh, where did I go? New Hampshire then pick up a trailer and then once i pick up that trailer go all the way to maine and right now i'm at poland spring facility like the the factory where they make poland spring water bottles so 
I'm about to go in there and get a few water bottles because it said you could take four. So, um, it's cold, it's dangerous. The, I got the heat on blast, the froster on blast. And, um, you know, the windows, they were icing up, chilling. It was, it's dangerous, it's scary, man. And there's no traction, you know, there's snow on the ground, like I said. And um, you just gotta, you know, you can you hit the snow or mud button, traction control, if it focus. Snow, mud. Yeah, but right now, like I said, I'm getting loaded. I can feel the whole truck shaking right now. They're supposed to be delivering, um, or loading 20 pallets. Um, I think it's 45 tons. So, and then I'm gonna bring that back to Bridgeport for the night, and then tomorrow, not even tomorrow, we're gonna get that snowstorm. So Monday, I'm gonna bring it to New York. So we'll see what happens. I'll leave you, uh, I just wanted to make a video and I'm gonna let you guys go. I just wanted to let you guys know that. And uh, yeah, I'm about to just call my baby girl, you know, see what she's doing. And I'll check in with you guys later. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Do Comment it! Below. Be safe, you know, or anything you wanna let me know. Or if you're a rookie, uh, let me know what your experiences. Um, if you wanna go get your CDL, let me know if I um, give you any good knowledge. But you know, hit that bell. I do I do live streams. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.